Well, a splendid welcome in a splendid setting for a truly splendid team, or squad we should say these days. And joining next season, Ruud van Nistelrooy, the Dutch striker, who's committed his future to Manchester United. United having to pay the best part of £20 million to secure his services from PSV. Well, there's a smile of contentment at the moment, but once the game gets underway, the motivator of Manchester United will want another win today. Let's just uh, go through the teams quickly for you. And Sir Alec, well, he makes two changes from the side that started at Southampton. Ronnie Johnson hoping to put his injury problems behind him. With his first start of the season, he replaces Yap Stam, who is rested while Dwight York comes in for Andy Cole up front. Chelsea are without Gus Poyet, who scored twice in the 5-0 victory over United in October. Ferrer, Babiaro and Desai also missing from the regular back four. So Mario Melchiot from Ajax, he was signed last summer. He finally made his debut against Middlesbrough on Saturday, and he stays in the side today. Dan Petrescu and Deschamps return in midfield, and Torrey Andre Flo replaces Chris Sutton in attack. Presentations here for the sponsors of the league. It's player of last month, Dwight York, Sola. Up front for the side, as I say, that beat Manchester United 5-0 back in October. Who would have thought that the conquered would conquer the rest of the league so convincingly since then? And they have swept to this championship. Well, maybe not quite the... Uh, title decider that it uh, promised to be not the rehearsal it might have been for this season Champions League final but there's always plenty of promise in the air when Manchester United do meet Chelsea and there is that 5-0 defeat to avenge for a start and indeed Manchester United have scored against every Premiership opponent this season except Chelsea just that uh, one game of course at Stamford Bridge on board at left back, Frank LeBerf, who didn't play against Middlesbrough on Saturday, he was amongst the substitutes then. He's in the starting 11 alongside Emerson Tom, who's on the ball here, who was in a Sheffield Wednesday side that lost 4 0 on this ground earlier in the season. Lovely midday sunshine, keeping with the time of year and the spring very much in the step of Manchester United. Chelsea will hope to find their own motivation here. They do have an excellent record at Old Trafford. Just two defeats in the last 24 times they've played here in the league. Here's Melchiot with a cross. Too high for Gary Neville. Zola. And a fine save from Torrey Andre Flo by Raymond van der Hau. Little slow to start here. The champions. And Chelsea creating uh, an opening within a matter of seconds and Torrey Andre Flo's header diverted away by the uh, goalkeeper who continues to stand in for the injured Mark Bosnich, Raymond van der Hal. He comes with a solid right hook to the ball there. He was a very uh, pleased man on uh, Saturday his 10th league game against Southampton that qualifies him for a winner's medal in the Premiership Flo <laughs> too high for Zola by some distance and it wasn't particularly high the cross Philip Neville Silvestre a significant game for Ronnie Johnson there's no doubt about that 
Really serious knee trouble since the Champions League was won in Barcelona. 11 months ago now, he came on as a substitute at the Dell on Saturday. He looked understandably uh, rusty, but Sir Alec Ferguson giving him the chance to play a full 90 minutes here. York. Gary Neville. Wise. With the uh, accompaniment that often follows him in away games, the abrasive Chelsea skipper. It's a, a test for Jonsson. The ball just weighted above him by Zola's pass. The flow strides on and... There's no sentiment for a fellow countryman there from Torrey Andre Flo. Ronnie Jonsson still looking for the sharpness to prevent maybe that sort of run, which he would do when he's fully up to match fitness. Maybe he would have cut the ball out initially. That was Zola's cross earlier. Another view on a fine tip over from close header by Van der Hout. Sylvester, Keen trying to help it off. York. Why is stepping in? Not for long though. Really coming very quickly on the heels of what celebrations the players were allowed down on the south coast. There was certainly uh, a bottle or two of champagne opened at the Dell. York. Steve Dunn is the referee, incidentally. And he's called that a foul by LeBerth on Dwight York. And immediately David Beckham looking for goal number 50 in his Manchester United career this may be a perfect opportunity to do it given that so many of those goals have come from free kicks and the majority from this sort of angle but Giggs is there as well the free concentrating on getting the wall back it is Beckham into the wall. Wide to uh, Philip Neville, who turns encouragingly. Flo only half away with the clearance. But Giggs. Well, not quite according to the David Beckham manual, the attempt from the free kick. Deschamps. Nice movement by Zola. Flo uh, couldn't really chase that. He knew he was offside. There was no other runner for Chelsea. Ray Wilkins removed as a player from Chelsea to Manchester United. Alongside the manager on the Chelsea bench. injury it's really been the reason Chelsea fans have had to wait so long to see a player who came with a fine reputation from Ajax Sylvester Keane and Petrescu barring the way forward for Manchester United Four more games then for the club already crowned as champions, including today. And uh, Sir Alec Ferguson has called for Manchester United to uh, win them all to finish with a real flourish. They haven't got any finals now to look forward to out of the Champions League. Uh, we will uh, know that they didn't enter the FA Cup this season to defend that particular prize, which was a topic of much discussion. Gary Neville York but there's no flag against Roy Keane but the only man he could pick out with the cross was a goalkeeper who was full of anticipation there at the height 
but Barry Neville off Lebeau, corner for Manchester United. Chelsea lost track of Roy Keane, it must have been close as far as offside was concerned, but the flag stayed down. Neville got a good foot in there, but so too defensively did Wise. Deschamps. Really and Brissetti playing on the left of Chelsea's midfield. And Petrescu. Moving across from the right in that particular move for the visiting team. by Ed Dehoe, Ryan Giggs maybe half thought about to going uh, directly with a shot for goal but he's made a run towards goal York has missed it in any case he was offside he was offside that spares the blush Giggs mind uh, working overtime really he knew where the goalkeeper was when he controlled it had a look decided that uh, it would be too speculative then ran past two and decided <laughs> York was better placed, but in fact he wasn't because he was offside. Damaged hand for Frank LeBeuf. When you look at Ryan Giggs as one of the senior figures here, with six championship mementos to his name, he's still only 26 years old. There's so much more mileage left in this group of players. The manager says it's the best that he's had to work with. And that's quite a compliment to them. Butts, ball forward. Long board doing the necessary. Chelsea player actually made his debut for the club on this ground. Oh, and Ed DeHay! Goal for Dwight York! The embarrassment now with the goalkeeper. Ten minutes gone. And Manchester United have been getting goals all sorts of ways this season. Well, that's one of the stranger ways. It's not the first time that the has been caught out in the Premiership in this way. If I remember his uh, early... Days at Stamford Bridge were blighted with a, a similar mistake that allowed Southampton to score against them. But it's Dwight York, it's his 50th goal for Manchester United, and one he'll certainly never forget. So here's Zola. Petrescu's offside. It happened while Frank LeBeuf was off the field, but that's no excuse as uh, Gianluca Vialli looks towards his embarrassed goalkeeper. So that's 88 in the Premiership. So far for the champions and three and uh, three quarters still to go. Trying to reach the hundred, but here's Zola looking to equalise. Well held. He would have uh, felt it was a decent enough save if he'd parried it away. Raymond van der Haar, but uh, the handling was expert. Flo is offside, so the uh, two Dutch goalkeepers here with very differing experiences in the uh, opening exchanges. A couple of uh, excellent pieces of work from uh, Raymond van der Haal. As for Ed de Hoy, well, 
something that uh, will go down in the annals of goals between uh, Manchester United and Chelsea. Keen. But York oh, had runners either side, and in fact, Butt was better placed than the other Solskjaer. Neville. need to be told what went wrong one of the uh, goalkeepers who learnt his trade when footwork wasn't quite so vital the laws of the game changed younger goalkeepers coming into the game now uh, know how to deal with those situations more naturally shall we say every kick is going to be greeted here there's some sort of reaction from the Manchester United fans who will be hoping Chelsea goalkeeper is now a nervous wreck. I doubt that. He's a, he's a pretty calm character. Wise. That's uh, more like the Ronnie Johnson, whose pace at the back made him a very important figure in Manchester United's treble winning side last season. Dix. midfield as well Giggs staying in from the uh, left hand side to get involved early ball from Beckham problem for Frank LeBeuf he uh, got out of it well and uh, LeBeuf telling the goalkeeper he could have picked that one up because it came off the defender's knee and not off his boot understand the tentative reaction from the goalkeeper who wanted to show at least he could kick it with his left foot some distance kick lets it run Solskjaer the burst challenge Petrescu is Zola it's a little bit flat Chelsea's uh, approach there, I mean that players were in the same line across the pitch, Flo on the right, Ambrosetti in the centre and Deschamps got forward as well but one ball took them out of the equation York here's Giggs Keane darting into the centre, Solskjaer's already there Giggs goes on it's a good uh, Leap by Emerson Tom. Kicks again. But. Philip Neville's cross. It's come all the way to Beckham. Chelsea will be annoyed about that. They'll be happy though that Butt has blazed it into the crowd. his day and well he might flow wise just to uh, reaffirm to you that the mistake by uh, Ed De Hoy not through any end of season complacency Chelsea still need uh, to go for winning all their remainder the fixture list because 
You don't get in the uh, Champions League unless you finish in the top three. They were third last season. And of course, made good capital of that qualification. And it is possible that they could finish fifth, lose in the cup final and not actually qualify for Europe at all. So this is a time that they've got to still be productive. They wouldn't, even with one or two regulars not available today, be too much in awe of Manchester United. Because they've got international talent of plenty, men like Deschamps who've played here before for other clubs in the big European nights. Here he is. And Flo is onside this time. And Phil Neville's got to get across and he didn't stop the shot. Torrey Andre Flo taking it early. And he's got the technique to do that. He's Chelsea's top scorer with 18 goals this season. But strangely, he hasn't scored in the Premiership since early in January. All his recent goals coming against Barcelona. Which, of course, is uh, good for the career record. Melchior. Leboeuf taking a bit of a risk. You're quite entitled to make a challenge there. Now Leboeuf who's already uh, been off for treatment during which Dwight York tackled the ball past the goalkeeper to give Manchester United the lead. The Frenchman in need of help again and a dressing down for Dwight York from Steve Dunn the delay giving the Manchester United fans a chance to there, their celebratory chance. Well, he was coming from uh, an angle where he wasn't likely to reach the ball. There was only a chance of getting it with the left foot. It was the right foot that came on through that did the damage. And that's what the referee didn't like. Certainly, Leboeuf didn't like it. Be interesting too, just to just plot the progress psychologically of Frank Leboeuf here and see if he uh, stays on he's in the French squad they've got an international in a couple of days time he flies up to his native country straight after this game that's why incidentally it's kicking off so early for the 48 hour rule for Wednesdays games coming up for various countries including Denmark and yes who is the defender on the bench who would replace Leboeuf if his day is done and dusted here. He's coming back on and, as I say, keep your eye on him because once or twice before he's been involved in disputes with the Manchester United players. I recall an altercation with Beckham. in the face and the free kick given against him Flo trying to fasten on to Zola's touch here's Lombard with a throw looking for Flo and Petrescu trying to uh, make something for himself here he's done that he's made himself an equaliser for Chelsea so in the 22nd minute it's 1-1 Manchester United reacting sluggishly at the throw in the first place hopeful from Flo but Petrescu with a steely challenge and uh, it dropped very nicely for him having got the better of Philip Neville and he thrashed it past Van der Haal to give Chelsea an equaliser here at Old Trafford. Wise.
Here's Silvestre. Beckham. A lovely ball for Solskjaer. York in the centre. Now Giggs. Couldn't find Butt. Le Berth in the way. Manchester United tried to respond like the champions they are. Having lost the lead. A lead strangely gained. Not to fortuitously because Dwight York went in with very much that in mind with the goalkeeper. And the opening goal of the game but not the only goal of the game because Dan Petrescu has had a say here for Chelsea. Offside. And Rossetti. Maybe Flo as well. United without the steady influence of a uh, Yap Stam. We do have the range in the passing of David Beckham. Beautifully delivered. Nick supporting uh, Solskjaer down the outside. But, uh, tidied up by LeBeuf. forward for Manchester United and Melchiot didn't uh, defend decisively it is a corner and also in a position area where he could have just booted the ball away now he's uh, not the quickest off the mark at the corner which has allowed Beckham an opportunity to try and bamboozle Ed De Gooy. that very sluggish Chelsea defending look at the space that Beckham had <laughs> and he gave it that little Flick of the eyes, David Beckham, to get the goalkeeper going one way, set the ball the other. Giggs. Philip Neville can batter this one. He's only scored one goal in the Premiership, and that was against Chelsea, not here, but at Stamford Bridge over a couple of years ago. construction that is the new Old Trafford and more to come the stadium in keeping with the stature of the club that it houses Becker nice slipped not quite beyond Deschamps but the long board helped Chelsea out wise again now Deschamps that's a, a probing ball from Didier Deschamps to Gianfranco Zola. Philip Neville uh, got back, anxious maybe to make amends for not stopping Petrescu equalising. It is uh, one negative feature of Manchester United's season, I suppose. They've conceded more than 40 goals in the league. They do give the opposition a chance, but. Uh, as we've pointed out to you before, their philosophy is, well, whatever they score, we'll score more. And you've got to put that philosophy to the test now. It's level at Old Trafford. 1-1. One, one. Flow. And Rossetti uh, has gone into the centre. There's been good uh, mobility by Chelsea in their attacking play. Flow. Zola hits Silvestre. Manchester United can't stop the ball coming back at them through Deschamps. Melchiot. One of those Ajax turns. Philip Neville only headed it against Wise. It bounces back through to Van der Hauer. Beckham. Well, that's a marvellous pass again to Giggs. Trying to steer it back, he spotted Dwight York, trying to keep the pace of the move with a first time cross back from the left. Beckham coming across to involve himself with Giggs at the corner. Solskjaer just to ease the way, that's what the crowd were calling for. Wise having to deal with him again, and he has done. He gets the throw for Chelsea. 
Could be a, a big few weeks for Dennis Wise, is captaining Chelsea in the FA Cup final, the trophy. But he's held a lot before, and then a, a really good chance of being involved in the um, Euro 2000 finals with England. Just lent on Solskjaer then. And then uh, a moment or two later, it was neat and tidy with his defending with the ball on the ground. They shot on from uh, on board to Ambrosetti. That will go all the way to Petrescu, no, not quite, because Philip Neville again put into an awkward position by a ball coming from Chelsea's left to their right, did get a touch. Silvestre, Le Berth, Zola actually needed a call to tell him he got time then. Wise. from Petrescu, Zola's onside, Ronnie Johnson heads it out, well, for many teams, even teams that have won their championship, you would say that this could be an after the Lord Mayor's show sort of day, but it's a risky thing to say that about Manchester United, they have got such drive and determination, Beckham, with the first header and the berth with the second men like David Beckham don't settle for just uh, strolling through a game to see out the end of a season and they'll be stung by that uh, Chelsea equaliser from Petrescu suggestion of a limp and Beckham and he spun away quickly then Bench were looking questioningly at him Roy Keane has an international date with the Republic of Ireland on Wednesday they're playing Greece at Lansdowne Road Got a problem here, that's surely going to be a free kick. Chelsea's way, flows way. So let's take it just past the half hour mark. Chelsea were 1 0 down, looking here for an opening to go 2 1 in front. Long board. Tom, blocked by Keane, Deschamps, who is rather from the hit and hope brigade, goal scoring is not his natural forte. There is some activity on the Manchester United bench, it's Gary Neville who's uh, coming off. <laughs> And Henning Berg goes to the centre of the defence to play with Ronnie Jonsson. So that's an all Norwegian affair. Philip Neville's come to the right, and Mikhail Silvestre has gone to left back. Giggs. Silvestre going ahead of Ryan Giggs in his new role. It's Giggs who concentrates on drilling in the cross himself. Now leaves it to Silvestre. Deschamps, wise. I'm sure he really wanted it there. Nicely done by Silvestre. Keane to Beckham. Challenge by Lombard. Zola. 
brought again. Nice change of direction to catch out, but and Rossetti. The players forward for Chelsea here. Petrescu's pass very nearly got Torre Andre Flo in. Just working on the back of the last defender, and it's an uncertain looking at Manchester United back line. It's been changed, one assumes, through injury. And you're starting to see now what is riding on this game for Chelsea. tell you that Gary Neville has come off with a groin strain. Solskjaer. York. Keane. Now Philip Neville. The berth. It's a better balance to get that than Solskjaer. Deschamps. Uh, nibble out there, uh, Philip Neville. Didier Deschamps, who was once sent off on this ground playing for Juventus against Manchester United. So just over ten minutes to go to half time. The champions won, Chelsea won. Silvestre. Keen. Oh, the birth. Did that with uh, great intelligence, really. It's great when it comes off. They shot. Petrescu got Zola to work with here. Here's Zola. Chelsea lead by two goals to one. It wasn't the most clinical finish, but that doesn't matter. Manchester United, who were beaten here by Real Madrid only last week, they haven't lost a Premiership game on this ground for more than 16 months. But Chelsea have given them problems in the past. And Zola bounces Chelsea in front. And they come back from 1-0 down to lead by two goals to one. Here's Ambrosetti. Well, certainly the signs have been there. Since Chelsea cleared their heads about the uh, maybe the early kickoff time and the strange uh, nature of going a goal behind, Zola, who scored an equalising goal in this fixture last season, it finished 1-1. Well, it won't finish 1-1 today. Chelsea needing a win. Gary Neville can only sit and watch. His path in the action is over. Fouled by Solskjaer. It's going to be a booking. The card is out. And it's now shown. So they're going to Solskjaer pull that. So, so much of this Premiership season has gone Manchester United's way. They've only lost the three of the 34 games they played in the league until today. Beaten at Newcastle, at Spurs, and of course heavily at Chelsea. Be sharing him doing some stretches. As Chelsea had to stretch their advantage here.
Solskjaer. Picked off by Deja. Petrescu. That's not the best ball by Didier Deja. Gave Melchiot a real problem. Giggs. Getting uh, men into the melee there, but York came out with the ball. Keane uh, King trying to play it wide to Sylvester, but will take over. Sylvester again. Quite uh, York was nicely found by Nicky Butt, but the crowd uh, a little aggravated that York didn't make more of that. Neville Beckham was bulked off the ball, well off the ball. Here's Giggs. Solskjaer! Ole Gunnar Solskjaer steers Manchester United level at 2-2 and his ability to take chances is quite remarkable they were sucked across a little bit Chelsea Solskjaer checked back onto his right foot and maybe the goalkeeper's view was masked when the shot was released but uh, Ed De Rey has to pick it out for a second time and it's been a four goal first 40 minutes here two apiece Wise well, Keen has presented it to Petrescu. Giggs. Now York. So we'll count off the goals on the remainder of the season in the league for Manchester United. 89 now. There's number 90 on the horizon. Beckham Wise back in uh, alongside Emerson Tom Chelsea come here with a pretty impressive statistics in the league they've lost only one of their last 18 in the Premiership but that was a way to Sheffield Wednesday recently they were held at home by Middlesbrough on Saturday precious points lost at a, a crucial stage of the season Petrescu Ambrosetti It's offside Given against Sola Given against Sola but it shouldn't have been Giggs on the rampage He's lost his footing And LeBerth wasn't responsible for that And Ryan Giggs isn't making a fuss Zola. Now Wise. Well, you feel uh, that uh, either side are capable of getting a goal at any moment. And that makes it very enjoyable viewing from the neutral perspective. X was in but stumbling. Philip Neville. Solskjaer. Tom. That rather unconvincing Manchester United penalty claim. But. Trying to get around the outside of Wise. 
enough contact there of an illegal nature to give Manchester United the free kick and a chance to uh, reclaim the lead. 1-0 up, 2-1 down, now 2-2. Two, two. Key. But, Key, York, White. Christmas that was needed there. Deshaun. Meaty clearance from Raymond van der Hau. Travelled a long way to be uh, controlled well by Solskjaer. York. Caught from behind by Tom. Beckham. Both coming out with it and going on. Zola. Burst out of position, but Chelsea have got cover. Manchester United have got three up uh, ahead of Beckham. Keane is one of those. Roy Keane driving on. Beckham again. And by his standards, that's a wasteful cross. But a few seconds there that encapsulated the game. Chelsea counter attacking. Frank Le Burf, one of the centre backs to be an extra attacker so the lost the ball and seemed to just get to damage slightly in the process and then Manchester United attacking themselves pace and promise Melchiot by Berg three kicks going to go Manchester United's way this time one extra minute to be added and we're into stoppage time York Beckham and it's Philip Neville not like handball it's going to be a goal for Solskjaer no it's not because his normal deadliness there deserted him it would have been one disputed by Chelsea Steve Dunn saying it hit Philip Neville on the shoulder on the collarbone sort of area and he wasn't going to give handball it would have been Manchester United back in front but Solskjaer most unaccountably for him, skied it. So that brings the first half to a close. And if you thought this might just be a flat occasion with so much decided exits from the Champions League for these clubs, the championship won by Manchester United, you'd have been wrong because it's been an engrossing affair with four first half goals. Petrescu and Solskjaer in on the act, a strange one for Dwight York. And the Gianfranco Zola, who's been so short of goals in the Premiership, gets one here in the first half against Alec Ferguson's team. So the manager tight-lipped. The players who have such a competitive instinct not satisfied. So more to come. Half-time at Old Trafford. It's Manchester United 2, Chelsea 2. Welcome back to Old Trafford. Two goals each between Manchester United and Chelsea talk of two changes for Chelsea for the second half certainly Jody Morris the homegrown midfield man is taking his tracksuit top off he's not on the pitch he's getting some instructions from Ray Wilkins and John Harley is ready to come on and Ambrosetti is off Harley Left-sided player could well go into Ambrosetti's slot. And Jody Morris is coming on for Didier Deschamps.
first half that started uh, sluggishly and developed into a real sluggy match in terms of goals at both ends. And chances as well, extra chances. It could have easily been more than the two apiece that we have to this point. So sit back and enjoy the second half here. As Chelsea to Barrett's the recently confirmed champions Wise Morris just made it already let me remind you with a substitute of their own on Henningberg for the injured Gary Neville York and Solskjaer at the sharp end and they've been sharp so far with a goal apiece Keen. But only trying to give uh, on board some help here. Keen. On board the feeling that he got to the ball, maybe just got a piece of Beckham as well. <laughs> Certainly late that time. It's a bit unlucky, Bernard Lambourg. He was disputing the uh, merit of the first free kick and then he suddenly had to set off he was just a little bit distracted and then he sent Philip Neville tumbling and the referee tallying those two tackles up and making them equal a yellow card for Bernard Lombard Beckham takes well, Keane was in there with what looked like a dangerous header for a fraction of a second corner Working it short with Becker. Philip Neville. You would be surprised if there are no more goals in this game, I must say. The side short of influential defenders. The outstand rested by Manchester United. Marcel Desai has been at Chelsea for two seasons, hasn't played any of the four Premiership games against Manchester United. By a coincidence, nothing else. He did take part in the two FA Cup quarter-finals between these two clubs last season. Morris. And Petrescu certainly onside. Giggs trying to get back. Ball breaks for Zola. Chelsea have got four players forward. Zola. Shows against Sylvester. Flow! The berth. First half injuries. Sylvester. Solskjaer hey, now on 14 goals for the season in all competition for Manchester United. York's moved up to 21. One behind Andy Cole, who's not even on the bench today. Silvestre. This one is going to be uh, made by Manchester United. Uh, not sure who's coming off, but it's going to be Paul Scholes coming on. Uh, into the fourth minute of the second half. here that ended with Zola on the ground with Henningberg it's Roy Keane who's coming off and Ronnie Johnson holding the captain's armband and not sure who to give it to he's trying to get some guidance from the bench Scholes is on So that uh, the 
need of uh, quite lengthy attention. And finally they decided that Ryan Giggs should be captain. Here's Van Nistelrooy. Sir Alec Ferguson says he's bought for the future. But, uh, still got some development in his game. Uh, he's already a Dutch international. Leboeuf. Giggs. Sylvester. It's a good idea. Played by Harley. Johnson's header. Every uh, passing minute out there will ease some of the rustiness out of Ronnie Johnson's game. <laughs> Sylvester. Well defended by Lombard. <laughs> Melchiot. A comment I just made about Johnson also applies to Mario Melchiot. He was actually introduced as a new signing to the Chelsea fans back in August with his foot in plaster. It must have been pretty embarrassing to be on crutches out on the Stamford Bridge pitch. He's at least now the chance to show that he is a player. York, withstanding the nudge from Frank Leboeuf. Scholes. He's only given it to Wise, though. Harley. Chelsea have produced through their own ranks. Wise and Morris, much more English feel to the midfield. There is the Romanian Dan Petrescu though on the right. Morris can't quite get away. Skulls uh, still in trouble, in fact, confident enough to hang on to the ball rather than pass it riskily back to the goalkeeper and wait for Morris to foul him, which duly happened. York. Both sides have had the lead in this game. And it's level at 2 2. Seven minutes gone in the second half. Beckham. Petrescu. Screened well by Flo. Melchior. Good take by Petrescu. Morris. Harley come in from the left. The link up with Petrescu. Morris again. Beckham uh, just keeping the shape defensively on that uh, right hand side for Manchester United. But it was good to charging down by Harley. Haven't quite clicked into gear so far in the second half, the champions. Scholes. On board in the right place. I think Beckham might have been offside. Well forward when the ball was actually struck. Wise. Leboeuf. Oh dear. Caught out by York. Frank Leboeuf really needed a call. Scholes. York in the midfield area again. Leboeuf making sure he stays there for a moment at least. Yes. Beckham. And on board. It's there ahead of Butt. So they're coming in from the right. Flo. Looking for Wise. Oh, unlucky. Well, Bernard Lambord really triggered that off with his enterprise. And Chelsea carried it on well. Through Zola and Flo. It wasn't an easy ball for Wise to strike. And in some ways you can say he did very well to come that close. Given their other fixtures, given that they've got to this stage, very much in the match at Old Trafford. You could uh, make a case for saying, really, Chelsea are going to get into the top three. They have to go on in what remains and win this game. Yeah. 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 
isn't it? And a, uh, and a real tonic for home to Liverpool, away to Arsenal. They finish off at home to Derby. Here's Morris. Wise. Melchiot. Can't slip it through to Zola. Just the feeling that even though they're not going at full tilt, Manchester United, they've got the uh, wherewithal here to manufacture chances on the break. They so often do that. Bit of a bruise in that painful area down towards the base of the spine for Nicky Butt. Butt in particular hasn't got uh, happy memories of that 5-0 defeat at Stamford Bridge in October. He was sent off in that game in an incident with Wise. Sixty-one thousand five hundred ninety-three. The attendance confirmed today. It's the vehicle in the sky that's giving us those uh, lovely aerial pictures. It's been very much in the shadows this season. A chance to step out into the sunlight and the spotlight for Manchester United. The birth. The <laughs> expected backing. Ed De Huy kicked that one well. Philip Neville. Zola scampering back in. Long board. That's a fine ball played first time to John Harley. Not quite so uh, high quality from Harley. It won't need me to tell him that he uh, missed an opportunity there to maybe carve out a chance for Chelsea. Leboeuf. Silvestre taking a risk, making Johnson scurry, he can't deal with it, Wise on the scene, Harley coming in from the left, wanted an early cross, maybe should have got it, he got inside Philip Neville. Morris. Everybody in midfield being allowed to pass the ball in the middle third as they like, it's a bit more tenacious, especially with Buck back on. In the defensive parts of the pitch. Petrescu, he can make some ground here. Wise, trying to flight it for Flo. Philip Neville's header, and Beckham. And Harley doing the closing down. Gianluca Vialli as a player for Chelsea. Scored a deciding goal back in 96 when Chelsea won here 2-1. themselves ahead having led 2-1 today still level pegging with two goals each more than half an hour to go though Leboeuf Wise well, actually Torrey Andre Flo neither wanted the ball then nor was in a fit state to receive it he's limping and on board Making it happen for Chelsea. Still Lombard. Harley, who scored a winning goal recently away to Leeds United. It would be quite a double to do the same at Old Trafford. United by Butt and for Chelsea by Wise. Zola, Petrescu, Flo trying to stay onside, indicating Petrescu couldn't have the ball straight away and uh, they worked that well between them. That's a back pass by Giggs and if Zola had just seen it a little earlier, he might have intervened. It wasn't the wisest move from the Manchester United number 11. 
will be happier going in this direction. Against three. Wise. Zola. That's by Silvestre. Petrescu. Melchior. Saw Flo. Found him. He in turn finds Wise. There's a, a neat method about Chelsea. What they don't have is real pace or truly natural width either. Oh no, Raymond van der Hout. <laughs> trying to <laughs> show Ed de Hoy how it should be done. <laughs> he did it, but it was maybe not quite as fluent and fluid as he was hoping for. And uh, Sarnik Ferguson might just have had a heart-stopping moment then. Harley. Beckham thought it was handball. The referee didn't. Morris. Beckham's angry. There you are, that's that volatile side of him. It is, in essence, part of the makeup that makes him such a great player. And he thought he should have had a free kick. And rather than just to carry on on an even keel, he was uh, fired up, overstepped the mark, a booking for Beckham. on board Morris one of the scorers in that 5-0 romp against Manchester United for Chelsea few who left the, that ground that day would have imagined that we'd be here today for the return game with Manchester United having galloped away with the league title what they have shown each time they have lost they've come back with the uh, determination and the class of champions for that never and now but for Beckham for that Neville again Manchester United have three moving into the middle Solskjaer going towards the near post here he is it's his movement that Chelsea didn't track Good spot by Philip Neville with a cross. Morris. So he's, uh, dive in as sometimes he does do. He picks up a lot of yellow cards for mistimed tackles, but not so much in the heat of the moment as Beckham. Other than a Solskjaer who comes off supported by the manager, a scorer again for Manchester United today. He's not a talent that they're about to let go lightly with the new man, and Nistel Roy, in the ground today and in the club next season. Speculation about the future of all the Manchester United strikers, given that there is a, a new competitor in that respect. The books even here have to be balanced somehow. York. They're in front of LeBeuf. Beckham. Turned away by Tom. Giggs. Woody Cruyff. Trying to uh, take up a central position here. The build up for Manchester United on the right. Berg. Scholes. York. Phil Neville, Scholes, decides to allow Beckham the cross, made him work for it, but he still delivers dangerously. It would be more dangerous if Cruyff hadn't lost his footing. Diggs. Tom turning away, he's served Chelsea well since the rather surprising signing of him from Sheffield Wednesday. Flo, he's only given it to Scholes. Giggs. Keane, Manchester United having uh, seen Chelsea control the midfield for a spell. Showing signs of 
Getting back in the groove. What the fans are calling for is getting back in the lead. Beckham, not going to do it like that. So uh, Beckham looking for Butts' pass and he stood still. Just played the ball to where he thought Beckham was going. Wise. Petrescu, scorer of the first Chelsea goal today. Tom, pass by York. On board. A bit lucky. It's uh, dropped over the top by Tom and Harley trying to reach it on the stretch and volley it back across the face of the goal would be the best that he could have hoped for. Johnson. <laughs> Two real gritty characters in uh, Jody Morris and Nicky Butt. <laughs> Luca Bialy. There's one more change he can make. United have run all there. Permissible changes. Petrescu. Flo. And uh, Henningberg, without ever looking the total master of that situation, has got his side a goal kick. This sort of uh, incident must happen all the time when they're together in the Norwegian squad in training sessions. Flo, of course, the most feared forward. The main. Uh, Thrust for Norway, not always a regular in his club side. Suggestions that he might be uh, a class is new next season. York, but trying to drive on. Good tackle by Lombard. Price. Here's Philip Neville. York. He's got a trick against Tom. And if he has, wasn't the right one. Tom again. Petrescu. Wise. Here's LeBeuf. Space in which to express himself with his cultured passing. Standards. Uh, maybe just changed his mind at the last minute. It was a, a clumsy piece of work from Zola. Giggs. Fine tackle by Melchior. He's just shown the ball too much to Jordi Kreif. And Beckham. First touch took him a bit wide. Here's York. Manchester United are in front. 3 2. A second today for Dwight York. And still a quarter of the game to go. The chance seemed to be there for Beckham himself, but just look at the way his first touch just widens the angle out here. But the goalkeeper got a, a strong parry to it. But in there poaching was York. Now Manchester United in front again. And they hang on to it. With still more than 20 minutes to go. And it was York who scored twice in the uh, FA Cup quarter-final replay. Last season at Stamford Bridge knocked Chelsea out. Big part in Manchester United going on to uh, win that trophy. Morris, LeBeuf. So Zola's flick just gone a bit further forward. Petrescu, he's had an opportunity, but it's the 
Same old story for Manchester United. It's not been a vintage performance from them today. You'd expect maybe a slight reaction to their success, even from gritty competitors such as these players. Long board, but they're in the sort of situation they have been in uh, many times this season when the opposition have scored against them. And they're just in the business of scoring more. Corner off Philip Neville. Not the warmest of welcomes from Dennis Wise, but he knows that anonymous players don't get that sort of attention. Wise with the corner, and the Howe deciding to take charge at the near post. Silvestre gets the header in. York. Philip Neville. Scholes. Beckham. We must see Chelsea wilting here. Philip Neville's cross, York's on the hat-trick. Oh, it's stopped by a startled goalkeeper right on the line from Jordi Cruyff. York going for goal, no doubt about that. Ended up a half-decent pass to the man in the centre. And uh, De Heuze, uh, momentum almost took him into the net himself, but he stuck out an arm and kept it out. Petrescu, Melchior. Now Morris. Long board. In from Harley. Giggs skips past Melchior. Emerson Tom trying to buy Chelsea a bit of time here. That's difficult against Ryan Giggs on this sort of run. Still Giggs. And the berth put in front of York to cut out the cross. Good defensive play from him. Astute positioning. Zola. Well, Chelsea responded very positively to York's first goal of the game. Got to do the same again. Will Flo actually got into space between uh, Jonsson and Silvestre. Scholes. Chelsea are going to make their third substitution here. They're taking off one of their scorers today, Dan Petrescu. And bringing on Chris Sutton whose only Premiership goal this season came against Manchester United in the 5-0 win in October. I've been calling him the newspapers here a £10 million misfit. Some of the supporters would, of course, take a different slant on it, but he certainly hasn't scored uh, as often as he would like. Just three goals in all competitions, and as I say, one against Manchester United. Funny enough, he's got a... An impressive record against this club, which not too many forwards have. He scored against Manchester United for Norwich, for Blackburn and for Chelsea. And he's got a chance now to uh, put a plus on to uh, his rather problematic season. If he can help Chelsea to equalise in the quarter of an hour or so that remains. Wise. Two two at half time. One goal in the second half has gone the way of the champions against Chelsea. Leberth, Morris, and the scamper again. Must be a 
ball boy at Chelsea. Here he is, Jody Morris. Going to show what he can do with the ball out on the pitch. Beckham's pass. Working hard to try and hunt down the hat trick here. Manchester United you know, have so many other players capable of scoring. Beckham. Bit of a hospital pass for Butt. And uh, Melchiot coming out with encouraging fitness for Chelsea. His second Premiership game, the first was on Saturday. Zola. Heading out by Jonsson. Something really needs him coming in from a, a better angle than that. Always like to be a defender's ball. on board, Melchior, who's got between two, Mario Melchior, and Flo, oh, and diverted onto the top of the crossbar and over, Henningberg's touch, whether the goalkeeper would have made a save, we'll never know, but uh, my goodness me, the corner's not been given, quite clearly off Berg, off the bar, That's over Tom. Leberf trying to help out uh, his fellow centre-back against York. Oh, he's had to pull away and... Uh, extra challenge came from Longboard. Rudy Kreif. Now Schalk didn't do much there, but uh, rather launch himself side-on against the Dutchman. His surname is so famous that he opts for his Christian name on his shirt. Of his uh, <laughs> father's high calibre, that uh, Jordi Cruyff, although he's a fine footballer, uh, that the uh, Johan Cruyffs come along uh, very, very rarely. Anyway, it's David Beckham coming along here. Remember, he, like York, started the day on Manchester United 49 goals. Yorks going beyond the 50 with two. This is Beckham's moment. Rather like the one in the first half. Been giving him the big build up, he's hit it into the wall. Silvestre will reach skulls, but that won't reach but why he's got in the way. Giggs with a tackle against Melchior. Johnson. Skulls. Giggs. Players, I would think, haven't had too many uh, matches in the warmth of this, these conditions in recent times. Scholes, Philip Neville, York, Beckham! Well, Ed De Hoy looked round, fearing the worst, I think. The bend on the ball just took it beyond the post. From Beckham. Scholes. Beckham. But yeah. Neville still full of running. Ah. So too. Harley for Chelsea. It should be, of course, he only came on at half time. Sutton. It's the sort of moment that's been around a bit too often for Chris Sutton. 
trying to show what he was made of, and the uh, pass was miss hit. The burst labouring, but he's just found enough to hold off Jordi Cruyff. Wise, the birth, Morris. Ten minutes to go at Old Trafford. Manchester United three, Chelsea two. And a switch back of the game. Which Manchester United have uh, led 1 0 and been 2 1 behind. Melchior. Lombard. Tucked away by Jonsson. Thinks prepared to do that in that part of the pitch. Crash. On for Beckham. Classy stuff from Manchester United. Scholes. Tally of goals for the season has uh, now reached 90. Three matches still to play. Beyonce now towards the end of the game than he was at the start it's understandable oh, good thinking by York can't be offside from the throw Philip Neville York For Beckham, it's over one of those who uh, committed in that Manchester in that Chelsea penalty area for Manchester United. Oh, on board, taking a chance against the tenacity of Scholes. Tom. So that. Torrey Andre Flo got a touch, Sutton chasing. And Neville running the pace on the ball through the defending for him. A little bit of strong backbone against Sutton as well. The air of inevitability about Manchester United winning this title from when they got their act going so splendidly after that uh, crushing defeat at Newcastle that many of you might have seen with us has uh, somewhat detracted from maybe the wholesomeness of the praise uh, when at Southampton on uh, Saturday wasn't live on television uh, in uh, Great Britain Sutton this have gone Zola. Kreif. Silvestre. York. Manchester United won't be resting on their laurels in the seven minutes or so that remain. Giggs. Trying to put a postscript to this game in uh, some character that sums up what Manchester United are all about, but it didn't happen for them then. by Silvestre on float it's his first uh, championship in England of course Silvestre his first season here had a daunting uh, place to make his debut for Manchester United away to Liverpool back in September was on the winning side then and has been in the majority of games that he's played since Wise Zola, Melchior can turn. And, uh, the corner. And they did get one that they should have had earlier in the second half. Sylvester has looked, suggested he thought the final touch was off a Chelsea player, but it is a corner this time. And uh, with Sutton there to 
Try and show some real authority in the air. Ball is not yet lost for Chelsea. Still five minutes plus stoppage time to go. Not deep enough the corner from Gianfranco Zola. Wise. Well, he, uh, <laughs> drew that from Beckham. Made his sure that he got his body across and Beckham no way he could have braked. Now he will break out in support of Dwight York. And it's Giggs who has the acceleration. Crowd encouraging Giggs to go it alone. And he's wondering where the supporting cast was. We go to the right for Chelsea here. Long board. Oh no, that's uh, maybe uh, tiredness as much as anything, but Dennis Wise was in uh, acres of space on the touchline down below us, and it just needed a simple release from Lombard and into trouble. Lombard will have to uh, certainly run back here because York is onside. A bit of showboating. Giggs. Beckham. Price for scores! It just bounced up as he hit it. Which suggested straight away it was always going to keep on rising. Like Manchester United over the last eight years since the start of the Premiership, coming off the back of the Liverpool eras of the 70s and the 80s. This uh, club here in Manchester really got it right on the field at the time that the uh, massive money came into the English game and they're going to take some uh, overturning Roy Keane already saying quoted in the papers this morning that his ambition for Manchester United next season is to go uh, unbeaten throughout the campaign York <laughs> still roll his way no not quite Level with Cole, incidentally, 22 goals each, the joint top scorers. But they haven't relied on them. Flo. Can Chelsea get an equaliser late on here? Zola cushioning it impishly. Still Gianfranco Zola. Was a charge down by Scholes and important for Manchester United in the context of this game that it was. Off goes Giggs again. Cross comes Emerson Tom. Doesn't seem to want to use the goalkeeper. Maybe after what happened in the first half, you can understand why. Morris heads off. Two minutes plus stoppage time to go. Chelsea 3 2 down and flows offside. Good decision. who heads off after this game to uh, an awards evening in France big night for French football Chelsea will be there as well though they're not out here now Deschamps taken off at half time Desai not involved today and maybe Sir Alec Ferguson by the standards of Manchester United might think that his players haven't been as involved as they usually are but they are still winning as they usually are long board and remember they're coming into this game with all that emotional excess and the excitement of winning the title as recently as last Saturday misjudged by Johnson Leboeuf, Wise, there's about 75 seconds to go including stoppage time and Silvestre can't cut it out, in fact it didn't matter because referee Dunn has pulled it back for a Chelsea free kick and this might well be the last opportunity 
on my watch we are into time added on Sutton on the move towards Chris Sutton Well, Gianluca Vialli will still be warmed whatever this season brings by the memories of Sutton and those who are at his side playing so well to demolish Manchester United at Stamford Bridge in October. I don't know whether you can call this uh, revenge. I don't think Manchester United really were going into it too much with that in mind been a lot of good rivalry between these two clubs down the years and Chelsea as we pointed out earlier to you today have often thwarted Manchester United up here in Manchester Morris trying to do the same again Diggs Morris not giving it up all the way so that the free kick couldn't be taken quickly Le Berth. Well, we're into the second minute of time added on it's an eighth premiership win in a row for the Reds who are simply the best in the English game they've had to work very hard for it here against the determined Chelsea side with their own agenda Dwight York Embarrassed Ed De Gea with his first goal, catching the goalkeeper in possession and 